I wish they would have more of these in the cafeteria in the morning for us in the Athletes Village. That you heard it, University <laughs> Out organizers. We have one request from USA team, more Bausaki in the Athlete yeah, Village. some, like, sugar and cinnamon on it. Oh, oh my God, yes. Sugar and cinnamon on my Bausaki. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good stuff. Yeah. And this seems like very hot, fresh Bausaki, too, right yeah. out of the, it's right out of the uh, oven, right? It's very good. Thank you. So, Tom, one word to, to describe Balshaki, what would it be for you? Mm. <laughs> Almost like a croissant kind of style, mm -hmm. it feels. has the same kind of taste for me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Seems like um, if I had a little bit of butter. Be uh, a little bit of butter on that Balshaki. Do we got to try some, um, maybe wash it down with some compote? So we're going to try some. This is a tradition. What is What kind of fruit? juices this we think. It's dried food, mm -hmm. apples, a mix. Uh, yeah. mix. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, they have this in the village. I like this. <laughs> it tastes kind of like tea almost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. Good. Kind of a cross between juice and tea I kind like of flavor. Tom? <laughs> <laughs> Tom, yeah. Oh man. Oh, that is really good. Yeah? It's refreshing. Mm -hmm. oh. We were asked to try a Roshek. We're going to try some Urmshik next, yeah. We're yes, getting what, there. Yes, what is Urmshik, by the way? Yeah. How's the compote? Yeah, so. It's like a very delicious cold iced tea. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's very good. Pretty natural. It reminds me of a nice <coughs> iced tea. Yeah. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. like an iced tea. Yeah. yeah. They drink this down in Georgia. It's good oh, stuff, right? Good. That's yeah. what it tastes like. So this is homemade <laughs> juice. You can't get any more natural than that. Uh, how do you make a, how do you make compote? There's a special way of making it, right? Yes. Well, first you just boil the. Uh, <laughs> first you just boil the fruits and uh -huh. then you boil them over like we use them with like quite a lot of sugar mm -hmm. and this is the, that that is it and you make it cool down. Boiled fruit and sugar. Yes. Can't go wrong with that. <laughs> yeah, right. I think that we should skip to the, let's get to the gold. Let's go to some, have some kurt. What do you think? Kurt or I'm sure. Yes, it's great. Let's try some kurt. <laughs> I think you've tried some kurt. I did. Did somebody grab one of these white balls? Why? Wow, don't take wow, too much. Wow. Careful, well, don't, break, don't break your teeth on it. I've had you might want to nibble on it. I gotta say, don't break your teeth on it. If we have to take you to the dentist, somebody's gonna get really, oh. really well, angry at it. We've had one dentist. We're gonna have it with ice hockey. The dentists are good though. Oh, <laughs> ice, hockey, <laughs> ice hockey, I bet. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, just to catch up to speed, we're here in the York with USA team. Uh, today's Facebook Live, sponsored by Lufthansa, as a part of the U.S. Consulate in Almaty's ongoing coverage of USA team at Universiad. Jim, try some, okay. oh, we got some Bish Bar Mach coming up in here. Yeah, that's right, Bish Bar Mach, folks. It's happening soon. Jim, just a little. Okay, Jim, I've had this already. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> it's salty. Really salty. salty. You like it? And then it gets kind of sour. <laughs> salty and sour. Mm -hmm. Would you carry around like a bag of quartz and walk around and eat it all day with you? If you had the opportunity. No. No? Sorry. No. Okay. <laughs> Probably not, but... One of them, maybe. I could eat one over a whole day. Uh huh. But Slowly, suck on it. Yeah. I yeah. Could do that, maybe. Tom. Oh man. Slowly. Don't break your teeth. Don't break your teeth, man. Interesting. Interesting. It's very diplomatic. You need some other adjectives. Um. <laughs> have some flavor. <laughs> Almost tastes like um oh man, what's the word? Um like almost like a parmesan cheese ball. Oh, there is it is it. It's kind of what it is. Yeah. It is a type of cheese. Would you carry around a bag of these and eat them all day if you could? I think maybe. <laughs> yeah? Um, yeah, I think I could probably do it. Yeah, yeah it's a challenge. Okay. A challenge. All right, we'll get, we'll get you a sack of court, ladies and gentlemen. If you meet Tom when he's out there doing his uh, motocross skiing, bring him a big bag of court. He's going to need them to charge him, keep him powered up for the uh, for the games ahead. Uh, Leticia. I actually like this a lot uh, because my family is actually from Brazil and we uh -huh. have the same type of cheese taste. Uh -huh. So this is exactly like Brazilian cheese sure. from the mountains. A little sure. USA Brazil yeah. Kazakhstan cheese, cheese connection, exactly. right? I like this. I, I could eat this all day, so I'm good. 
So I have to be honest, this is actually like the tenth piece of court that I have today. I have a court addiction. I have a court problem. I love court. It's like my favorite thing. Here we have a suggestion for you. It's in really great with uh, beer. Oh, that's how I try Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. This will go great with you. <laughs> People here are really jealous that you have a chance to try our food. Yes. So here we have a comment um, from uh, from Texas. Do you remember that woman from Texas? She yeah. says, hello from Rome, Texas again. Enjoy your meal, tell us over here. I hope you're going to bring some some kazi for me. Nice, nice, nice. Well, I think that speaking of kazi, hello to our friend in Texas. You know, they call Texas the Shim Kent of America. Yeah. So, uh, you know, uh, we always like Shim Texas that way. Whenever I feel like I want to go to Shim Kent, when I'm in the United States, I just go to Texas. It's the same place. She mentioned Kazi. I think we should switch to Kazi next, which is this right here, I believe. So, if you could, you got one. Do you have one? Grab one of these. So, Jim, pick yourself up some Kazi. Okay. And uh, give it a try. This left part around the edge is not really edible, but you can kind of bite into it and then just kind of stick it down. Part this part little plastic part. No, the uh, this part around the side. Or you could. Anyway, oh, okay. stick it in your mouth. Go for it. It's like a disc of beef and fat, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Flavorful. Mm -hmm. Chewy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't like the fat part very much, though, but I would eat the meat around it all day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it tastes like a steak. Okay, Tom? Thomas, we have a uh, like comment for you. Thomas, be sure to clean your plate. <laughs> yeah, we want to finish all of that, man. Try, try your kaza. Give us uh, your impression of, of your first kaza in Kazakhstan. <laughs> some of that kaza, man, right? We can give you some of that big block of kaza to take home. Did you see the whole thing? Yeah. He oh. destroyed it. I, I left the white part. Give this man yeah. some kaza. Yeah. So, 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 so Kazakhstan, ladies and gentlemen, Tom gives kaza two thumbs up. He's getting some more kaza. Yeah. He's going to eat like everybody's kaza. <laughs> Not going to eat mine. <laughs> Leticia. It's delicious. I actually have this every day in the morning at the Athens Village. Village. We do have it. It's no. because you don't eat it. I don't sleep. I couldn't wait. I ate my kaza. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations. You just had your first Kazakhstani kaza, which is horse sausage. Yes. Oh. So you had. have you had horse before, Tom? No. You had now, man, and you oh. can never go back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Once you have horse, you can't get it. You'll never go back. You're going to want it, and you're going to go back to the U.S., and you're going to say, where can I buy my kaza? Charles? some places that sell it. Uh -huh. Could you remind who we have today? Because people are asking me again. Welcome. For those of you that joined, we got some of our friends from USA Team. We've got, let's just go real quick. Jim, Director of Media for USA Team. Thomas Hayward, um, athlete, racing his gear across. And, and uh, Tom just arrived this morning on Lufthansa, our sponsor for the day. Uh, Leticia, Logistics Team for USA Team. And I'm Chaz, the Public Affairs Officer at the Consul in Almaty. Today we're trying Kazakh food. So far we've had... Kurt. We've had Korsaki. 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 and Kazi. Um, I think that we should just go for the Bish, right? Go for the Bish Barmak? What do you think? Let's go yeah. for the Bish Barmak. People yeah. are waiting for Bish Barmak. Yeah. Okay. okay, so bish bar this is Bish Barmak. It's the noodles and the meat that's there. I think that you've all been served this around. Yes. So you want to get kind of a, a, a fork with some of your, your noodles on it. You also want to get a piece of that meat and maybe even some of the onions that's there and just kind of get it all together and then just ah, tear it down. If you want to eat with your hands, you can because what is, what is Bish Barmak mean? Bish Barmak means five fingers because we used to eat it with fingers. Oh. And some people still do. Yes. So go for it with your hand and just like tear it down. That's right, Jim is going for Bish Barmak the only way that you're really supposed to eat it. <laughs> By hand. Yeah. Yeah, Jim. Oh, man. Mm. So, um, <laughs> let's wait for Jim to finish his bish. <laughs> let's go to Tom, and then we'll go back to Jim for his comment on bish part There you go, Tom. We have a comment, Thomas. Go, Thomas, from Georgia. Thomas, 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 Thomas. Go what? Go, Thomas. 
<laughs> Go, Thomas! <Yes. laughs> Eat that fish. <laughs> Jim's still chewing? How is it? Yeah, that's good. I mean, it's noodles and meat. I can eat that anytime. That's good. Right. Are you going to go back to the USA and, and, and make some dish farmak at home? Ask somebody? I guess if I can find the ingredients. I don't know. <laughs> They're pretty good. So that's, that's, that's right, Liz. If you're looking to uh, help out Jim so he can eat fish in the USA, uh, maybe in the comments, if you guys have a good Bishra Mock recipe, include a link to your Bish recipe, and Jim will take that uh, yeah. and make it in the U.S. Yeah. There you go. What do you think, Tom? Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> That's all you can say when you have some good Bish Mock. Sometimes you just lean back and you just say, oh, man. That was some good Bish Mock. Leticia. Delicious. This is amazing. I mean, what kind of noodles are these? Are these like the like flour noodles? Or yes, it's flour noodles. Yeah. Very good. We call it jaima in Kazakh language. Jaima? Jaima. Jaima. And always handmade, right? With a yes, giant rolling pin. Yes. Well, whoever knows a good recipe for this type of noodles, I will make these noodles back home because these are delicious. So that's right, post your Bishbar Mock recipe links. They'll make it back home. Maybe they'll send us the photos and we'll post some more pictures of Bish in the USA. So I'm going to get me some Bish. Holy moly, that is some good Bishbar Mock. It, it has been too long since I had Bishbar Mock. It has probably been about six hours since I had Bishbar Mock last. <laughs> and that is way too long. I need fish about every six hours just to keep a basic level of functioning. Um, I, I think that's probably about average. Yes, uh, Thomas, can you tell us again where, where are you from? Oh, uh, I'm from Reno, Nevada, and pretty much grew up there. Um, I skied at um, a local mountain called Sky Tavern, little non-profit ski resort. Um, then after a couple of years of skiing there, then moved up to Squaw Valley, and then it's pretty much been going from California, Nevada, skiing there, and pretty much living there my entire life. And when did you start competing in international winter winter sports competitions? Oh, man, um, i say probably about three years ago. I mm -hmm. started competing, went out of country to Canada for upper races, and then went down to South America, raced down there. Really? Well, um, I won the South American Cup last year. What country? Um, in Argentina. Mm -hmm. uh, this is your first like, overseas real trip? Yeah, this is branch five. First time to Kazakhstan, but you've, yeah. you've competed before in South America and yeah, Argentina. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty far. That's pretty far. Oh, yeah. from Brazil, that's fine. <laughs> but this is definitely <laughs> the other side of the world for yes. sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so how do you think you're going to be doing in competition? What would you say? How do you stack up against the competition? Um, I'd say, I think I'm going to probably, or, yeah, I think I stack up pretty well to these guys. Because mm -hmm. we're all pretty much on like, the same playing field. We're mm -hmm. all going to college. We're all in that same kind of age group. And we're all going through the same process of doing bullet and racing at the same time. Mm -hmm. And... I think it should be a really good race. And awesome. Doing when can well. we see you when we want to see you compete? Um, I'm competing on the, I do my training on the 6th mm -hmm. of February, then I do my time trials on the 7th, and then I race on the 8th. Up and at Shimbalock? Yep, up at Shimbalock. Awesome. So see Thomas up at Shimbalock, um, and uh, we hope that you cheer for him. Can we uh, we have a suggestion. Um, uh, the what is goes like really, really, really great with bed format is sopa. Oh. So you can try it. So this is sopa. Yes. We're not going to tell you what it is, but we want you to try it. Okay. <laughs> and then we'll tell you what it is. Okay. You can probably guess what it is. It's like a super little. I don't. I'm not sure what it is. So it tastes buttery almost. Hmm. Is that weird? <laughs> Makes sopa buttery. Interesting. It almost just tastes like melted butter with some pepper on top. Yep. Uh huh. Melted butter with pepper on top. And what do you get? What are you reading off of this? You get the person. Yeah. Like a fine wine. Fine wine. <laughs> um, in the beginning, I actually thought it was type of like miso. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, because I know that some of the cuisine is very Asian, so uh -huh. that that's what I was getting. But then after he mentioned butter, I was like, yeah, it tastes like a little butter. And the, uh -huh. Like the aftertaste, uh -huh. you can feel the butter. Like, uh huh. So. Uh huh. What is it? Oh, you just did the whole thing. That's really hot. Yeah, it was like so much of a It's called Kansa, right? Yeah. What, uh, what's, what is this? You want to tell us what this is? It is a soup. Um, it's not a soup, it's just like a broth. Yes. Right, so the 
meats from the bishbar mock, right? Yeah. Boiled, and then they uh, the, the broth that that develop is seasoned, and um, and then it, it's poured into the sort of pot, right? Yep, right. There's some onion. So maybe Andrew, you want to pan around what else we have, and I, and we'll go with the recommendations of our audience about what else uh, we should eat, what we haven't tried yet. So we've got some. What, what do we have that we have not tried yet? We have some loaf. We have loaf. Mm -hmm. We have manti. Uh huh. We have chebureki. <laughs> <laughs> What's this in the bowl? It is. Um, Over there. What is that? It is kurda. Kurda. Yes. Uh huh. Yes, it's kurda. Oh, well, I think there's some spicy seasoning too. Oh, yeah. Is that spicy stuff? This stuff? It's yeah. like the chili or something. Oh yeah, that smells mm -hmm. good. All right, so do we have any suggestions about what we should yes, try next? Usually with the plof, people eat this salad. It is tomatoes with onions. It, like with plof, is really really great. Yeah, with plof. Plof is this right here. So what should we try next? Do any of our Facebook mm -hmm. fans have a suggestion of what we should eat next from the selections? Has anybody given any suggestions? If not, I will. Um, no. There was mentioned arashik. Okay, let's right. maybe save that yeah. at the end since it's sweet. Uh -huh. um, let's go for some plov. Okay, let's go. Plov, fantastic. Yeah. Let's pass it down here to our guests who recently arrived. Oh, yeah. uh, do I take a piece of the meat too? Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> restaurant we have this table but a lot of times most times when people have New York they hang out with kind of like cut like mats on floor yeah. and kind of just lay out and the people will lay food on a table on like a big blanket and you just kind of hang out